I have come here to chew bubble gum and kick ass, and I'm all out of bubble gum. You know, I've gotten to know a lot of the uh, professional acrobats that are professional wrestlers, and they're really interesting uh, men, Jesse Ventura and many others. But from all the folks I've talked to, Rowdy Piper, they say, was like the coolest, most down-to-earth guy out there. And he literally just came from nowhere, very poor, um, and just basically got spotted for his talent and picked up and, and got into wrestling. And he died at 61. Uh, I learned from Sean Stone, Oliver Stone's son, years ago uh, that uh, Mr. Piper was a listener and was really upset about the New World Order and had been for decades and was aware of globalism. And that's pretty obvious starring in a film like They Live. So I talked to Sean Stone. I said, well, let's get him on sometime. And he called up and he said, how about tomorrow? So we did one interview with Mr. Piper. And a few months ago, I was trying to get him back on and heard that he was having health issues. And I thought, oh, well, I'm sure he'll get better. And he's gone. Uh, and it's not just that he was in some movies I liked that were all about waking up, coming out of the cave, Plato's cave, transcending the controlled paradigm, coming out of the matrix. It was that he was a guy who cared about freedom and was upset about what was happening in the world, and he's gone now. And so I, I just wanted to celebrate Rowdy Rowdy Piper, and I wanted to celebrate all the other patriots, whether they were famous or whether they weren't famous, whether they be black, white, old, or young, north, east, south, west, who care about freedom and who strive uh, to build and create and trailblaze and take action. That's really what it's all about. So I want to thank Sean Stone uh, for getting me in touch with Piper, for letting me learn that another great person uh, is aware of what's happening in the world so that he could share his ideas with the people. Uh, later this week, I'm going to have uh, Darren McBreen, one of our great editors, edit down an hour and a half interview I did with Piper to some highlights, maybe 10 minutes, to play that on the weekday show, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're going to be reporting, obviously, uh, from uh, Italy now on the incredible situations there. That's really the heart of the EU uh, with the Pope coming out and calling for world government and carbon taxes and a lot more. But I wanted to just take some time out to celebrate these poor little babies that never get to be outside the womb and, and, and realize they're human. And to also celebrate people that got a chance to come outside the wound, uh, like Rowdy Rowdy Piper. And to celebrate all of you out there that love beauty and love justice and want to stand against the forces of tyranny and death that are Planned Parenthood and the New World Order. All right, I throw you back to Austin, Texas, and David Knight. Mr. Rowdy Rowdy Piper, we love you, we appreciate you, and you live on in the hearts and minds of everybody out there that loves freedom and they live as probably more powerful than even the first episode of The Matrix in getting people outside the box. Uh, and uh, we, you will be sorely missed, but uh, I know you're going to be appreciated up there in heaven with all the host of the good souls. God bless you.